And that's why I said something is going to get public eventually about it. And it was like a bunch of bullshit. It's like, can't we just be fucking adults and solve this shit? Okay, you, you, know, you know what an adult doesn't do? An adult doesn't go on a little fucking bitch-ass rant publicly throwing everyone under the bus and then the next day want to smooth things over with the person he's attacked over and over again. That's not I, something an adult does. Dude, if it comes down to a fact if he attacks Wedge and brings it... We have talked about that time and time again, that we're ready to go to war if it comes to that, but we all were under the agreement that HQ's little rant was the worst thing he could do to himself. All we had to do was just sit back. So if he wants to attack and finally make his last hurrah, then so be it. But we're not going to go on the offensive because no matter what, like I told you on our conversation, when it happened with Adjaman and Lion... No matter what, you look like a bitch. You don't look good. I mean, yeah, when you attack is, somebody... We're dealing with a different situation. Do you think Wedge is really strong enough being face-to-face -face with fans in a place and this shit happens there? What shit would happen? If he decides to do anything or come out and say the reason why he's not at the convention during the convention, do you really think Wedge's fucking resolve would be able to stay intact during that? If it wasn't, we'll deal with that when it happens. Like, I don't think that's really worth worrying about. Because, I mean, if in all honesty, if shit comes out now and the con still happens, like, people will probably bring shit up months from now. Like, doesn't matter when the attack happens, I'm sure shit will happen at the con. Like, it, I don't think that really matters. We can deal with that <laughs> when it does happen, dude. I mean, it's just, it, I don't care if HQ lies or not. I don't care. Like, I will put... If it comes down to a thing where he's saying Wedge won't let him go, I will make a video saying it's not Wedge, it's me. Fuck HQ. I don't care. Like, I can direct shit away from Wedge if that's what happens. But it never got to that point. Because we just let it go. Like, HQ might do his last hurrah... While he tries to get Game Finder up and running, which, if we could all get a slight clap, it did make its funding, so go team. But, I mean, that's that's in the future. Could have dealt with that when it happened. And you really think Wedge would be able to? I can't speak for Wedge, I don't know, and I don't know if Wedge could actually say himself, but that's... It's a guy that literally two minutes ago... Wanted to leave the conversation because he couldn't handle having the conversation behind a fucking monitor right now. Okay. So you can't handle confrontation if HQ does. So Worst case scenario, we're doing. I the wanted to leave the conversation. Nothing to do with social anxiety, but more to do with the fact that this isn't going to go anywhere. Oh, it's fucking going somewhere. It's not. Well, you don't make my fucking choices anymore, Wedge. On the bright side, Nicole got her ticket refunded, so good team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you don't want to have a conversation, then I'll just speak fucking openly. This is what it directly comes down to, Wedge. Is the fact is, whatever. You guys can be fucking pissed off at me for making a business decision, which is a smart fucking business decision that I think Kevin, anyone would make. Hold on. What? Stop. Not a smart decision. You fucked over Wedge. And you screwed over Brian, dude. If you honestly think that HQ has enough pull to make up for the potential pull of Brian and Wedge, horrible business decision. Horrible. Sorry, I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay, well... <laughs> like, I I'm glad for you that you got your bump from Brian, but that's done, dude. That's, like, that's done. Your $1,000 from HQ isn't the close to 5000 that Brian got you. Not even close. Okay, well, he never fucking approached me about that. He's out. Well, if you guys... I don't know. And that's the thing, like I said. If you guys have your your disagreements and petty whatever the hell, and they're going to affect like how I make my business, that's pretty fucking bullshit. That's pretty bullshit. That's like anything... If Wedge with the playmats or something, if I'm like, well, I don't like Nicole, so if you do this, I'm going to fuck you. And you're like, dude, I'm just trying to sell fucking playmats here. And I'm like, no... I'm dragging you into my political game here, dude. I'm going to call the shots. You're going to be like, dude, dude, I'm the one doing this, man. And that's what I'm saying. You guys are fair to do whatever you want and be pissy about whatever the fuck you want. But the thing is, is I get to at least state my fucking opinion. That's the fair thing, at least. That's fine. State away. 
So we're not saying you can't. When it comes to all of that, whatever. It make a smart business decision. At least I felt. So whatever. If you guys don't want to support it, then fucking don't. Whatever. That's that's your prerogative. So that covers that. And that's why, as I said, I'm just like, well, you didn't care we appeared in his channel before, and you apparently have no animosity towards like Meg. So I don't know why the the pendulum weighed heavier on me. Whatever. A lot happened that. between them. Not with me, it didn't. On my end and on my side with HQ, a lot got better. Because I was actively hating that fucking guy at that time. Meg was actively fucking hating that guy at that time. We just shut the fuck up and did it because it was good for business. So we did it. But things have gotten better with that for us. He posted a Facebook post calling out most of the Magic community in a very negative way. It split subscribers. It was a bad idea. And the community at large was hurt by it. You can go read the topic in the group. It was there. Everyone was hurt. Everyone. And it was clear that at that point, HQ no longer cared about the community at all. To turn around the day after and make something supporting him when he just went against everybody hurt everybody. Who did it hurt? Everyone. Everyone's upset about it. Who? Dude, name one. Other than your pride, what's fucking hurt? I don't have pride. Pride's then what damage a waste of time. Define hurt. It's not gonna matter. No, I'm asking you. Did it's people futile. lose subscribers? Did people lose money? What? I'm asking you to define it. What do you mean? Is what I'm saying. Okay, I don't. I wouldn't say pride, but feelings and friendship, if you want to tie that to pride, is one thing. But at the bare bones of the situation, dude, a public attack happened, and someone, everyone knows that we're friends together, and then you publicly support him. Like, it's just fucked up. Like, not everything is a business decision, man. Like, there's, there's no friendship. Like... The, you know the emotional toll that HQ has put on Wedge. Like, I would have respected you saying, fuck Wedge, I'm attacking HQ so much more than just supporting HQ. So much more. If you're going to take one of those avenues. Like, it's just... I, I'm, I'm trying to find a logic there. That truly just like justifies not being able to see that these are like nemesis, whatever the fuck. Like they hate each other. I Absolutely. get that. They hate each other. Wedge didn't appear on his channel. He didn't appear on Wedge's channel. Okay. I'm not your fucking recruit or anything. Didn't say you were. I'm just saying when you step back. Fuck the channel, fuck everything else, look at your friend. Look at the dude who's attacked your friend. Make the decision not to do anything. I don't care about your business, I don't care about your channel, I don't care about any of that shit. Straight up just friendship, man. That's this is like, why... whole, this is a fucking year of spending time talking to each other, getting to know each other and everything else. And the fact that you can't see that this was a bad decision as a friend is horrible, dude. As a like friend, that, sure. I never fucking denied that. So you're fine with it being a shitty move as a friend? You're fine with $1,000 being better than being a friend? For something that I couldn't do anything about? That I tried right. to have something fucking be resolved about it? So I wouldn't have to deal with this petty shit anymore? You could have, like I said at the beginning of this conversation, you could have just said, leave me out of it, guys. You would have been out. You weren't really included that much in the conversations, as far as I can remember. We didn't talk about it all that much. Well, apparently I'm included into the core of it, because apparently if I do something that might involve him, I'm still held to that standards. You were held to the standard that everyone was after HQ made the post that he made. Nobody made a Game Finder video after that, so you besides you. Demanded people take sides, is that what you're saying? There's I no don't have to demand was... anything. No, he's he's redirecting. You don't have to demand anything. No one demanded anything. It was an obvious, logical decision that when somebody decides to go and try to burn down the village, 
you don't support them after they try to burn down the village. That's what you did. No one else did a video after that. And the reason I say this conversation is futile is because that fact is simple, but you're not going to see it that way. And there's nothing that can be done about that. And I... No words can get through, so... Besides to say that what you did surprised everybody and no one agreed with it. That's fine. So, but the thing is, is, all right, you don't agree with it. Ostracize me, do whatever the fuck you want, distance me, whatever. Fine, we can move on from that subject. That part of it's closed. You're a moron if you fucking think that. You fucked over everyone in the community openly for money. Why would I think any different, dude? All this shit happened after you did the support video and you didn't realize that it was a bad decision. I don't see why I fucked over anyone on that. Okay, you didn't. Okay, maybe you didn't fuck over anybody, but you made a horrible decision, and the fact that you don't see it is just how am I not supposed to question? Because the thing is, is if you want me to be on a side. Then have me be on your side and let me fucking do what I want to do. It's as simple as that. It's disturbingly hilarious that you use that as a justification for <laughs> supporting him. There's no logical tie there. There couldn't right. be no matter yeah, how many dimensions of logic you use. Right, just listen, listen. I don't fucking care. I'm sick and tired of you, Wedge. I'm fucking okay. sick and tired. Because, no, shut the fuck up and listen to me. All right, we're nope. done. Bye. We're done.